Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a brand new Pokemon product unboxing. Do have a full booster box here of Brilliant Stars, which is releasing this upcoming Friday, February 25th. And I must say, there's a bit of an odd aura in the building at the moment. Uh, it does kind of feel like I'm being watched. Uh, not sure if... Um... Not sure if any of our new shelf decor has anything to do with it, but anyways, jokes aside, I dug out every single Arceus plushie that I own, and I wanted to put them on display because I am hoping to find some amazing Arceus cards in this product. So there is, of course, Arceus V-Star, Arceus V, Full Art, all kinds of stuff, and that is what I really want to add to my collection. Now, looking at pre-order prices on TCG Player, the set's starting off really, really hot. Some crazy prices. When I was looking last night, the new Secret Charizard was about $300. Regular Arceus V-Star being around $75. So I really don't think they're going to be staying that high. But a lot of really cool collectible cards in the set. A lot of playable cards as well. So if prices do stay on that higher end for a a little while longer i wouldn't be too surprised although i do think it'll kind of normalize within within a week you know release weekend officially coming up in a couple days so i, I think it'll cool off a little bit but i might have to fight for some rcs cards so i am hoping to add to my collection i do have a little bit of a flex going on here some of my psa 10s uh, i would like to complete this set at some point i do have three of the nine of that old platinum rcs just puzzle so, also at some point I'd like to get actually a horizontal custom slab case. Uh, not sure who would do that. I think Show Your Slabs makes custom cases. Just because I also have a hard time keeping track of what I already have. But anyways, enough about that. We are looking for some new Arceus cards, not 10-year-old Arceus cards. So, very excited to see what we're going to be finding here in this preview box. And yes, one thing I noticed, this plushie right here, a little chibi is like 12 years old. I was looking at the tag and it was copyright 2010. I was like, oh my goodness, 12 year old plushie. This I remember, I was so happy to find this. This is this is a beautiful plushie. And this is actually more along the lines of what I expected that pre-order sitting cuties with Legends Arceus to look like, but you know what? They're different, which is good. Add variety to my collection instead of just Arceus plushies in like 12 inch and 16 inch. But I, I would get a jumbo one to replace this entire shelf if the Pokemon company made one so i'm i'm insane but anyways enough about shelf decorations let's go ahead and jump on into this booster box here by snapping ourselves into the corner since we do have a new pokemon opening i thought i would dig out my rotom mat for maybe the first time actually on this channel i know i've shown it off on my personal channel but first time here and actually when i was taking pictures of the thumbnail i had the brilliant stars box over here you know i would go and order I'll hold up the box to take pictures and then since I'm only using the face cam I would pile them up here and there's a bunch of pack dust because it's a black mat so if you guys see any weird dust it's from the Pokemon shrink wrap so it looks like these are shedding a bit we had been all right for a little while it's not as bad as a couple sets ago but uh, we were doing pretty good with not having the shrink wrap kind of flake but it looks like it's a little bit flaky this time around but anyways let's go ahead and grab tiny knife and get started I am hoping to find some Arceus cards I am hoping Hoping, hoping, hoping. Because I want, like I said, those for my personal collection. The box on the shelf is actually a box that I am going to be grabbing. Just because I want... Just because I want one. I want an Elite Trainer box. I have the Pokemon Center exclusive version on pre-order as well. I just, I don't know. I feel the urge to just collect a little bit of sealed product just for the packaging. I just love the way, especially big old Arceus there on the front. I just love the way it looks. So, oh my goodness. Look at all the dust. Look at all the dust. Poor Rotom is just getting shedded on. But I don't know if it's showing up too well on the monitor, thankfully, because otherwise it looks, it doesn't look great at the moment. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. So also curious to see which character rares that we'll be finding. That is from uh, character rares. What set was that? It was a set in Japan. I actually opened up a booster box of it. I don't remember the Japanese name, but I did like the way those looks remind me of the older Cosmic Eclipse character secrets. So not sure how difficult they're going to be to find here, but I'll be setting those off to the side in their own little pile if we come across any. All right, so pack one, nothing crazy. Oh, that Whimsicott is cute. Whimsicott is cute. And all right, I am on the prowl for Arceus cards. I'll also be on the prowl this upcoming weekend at Collectors Con Orlando. I'll be heading over there on Sunday. Look, it's Barry in the background of this Bidoof. That's, all right, Bidoof's getting stolen for my collection. 
Oh, it's a cute Gibble, too. Turtwig. Oh, cute. So we have Clank. I'm assuming a character or what? Huh? What is that? What are you? We have a V Star marker. Was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That caught me off guard. I love that Bidoof, though. I'm going to sleeve the Bidoof. Give some respect to Bidoof. If you guys haven't seen the animated short about Bidoof on the Pokemon Center, or Pokemon Channel, official Pokemon Channel, Pokemon Company Channel, there we go. I keep thinking Pokemon Center, because that's just where I buy all my merch. But you guys haven't seen, it's it's it pulls on your heartstrings. It's like... You go, Badoof. I love how it just it, in the animation, Badoof is treated as an HM slave, which I find hilarious. But he evolves and he saves the day. We love Badoof. In this house, we stand Badoof. So Badoof gets a sleeve. All right, looks like we got something going on here. Please be an Arceus V Star. Please, please, please be something Arceus related. Do have Trapinch and Raichu V. All right, all right. Also, I just noticed, I, I did feel like there's something off about that leaf energy there. Bond's Electric, we do have a new style. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Also, the return of Ultra Ball is nice. Return of Ultra Ball is nice. I like this new energy style, though. So I'm assuming the energy packs inside the Elite Trainer boxes will be of this new display. Oh, this pack looks so cool. For a long time... When I was in elementary school, I would just keep the empty pack wrappers. And eventually I was like, why do I have these? And I got rid of them. But like, I wish I still had them, to be honest. I had so many Heart Gold Soul Silver Series pack, like just the wrappers. Yeah, you know, obviously if I kept them sealed, that would have been a big brain play by my 10 year old self. But oh, Moltres Hollow. But I even had the empty wrappers. Crazily enough, some of even the empty wrappers are expensive. I don't understand it. I've seen random sold eBay listings of empty pack wrappers. And I'm just like, why? Like, I had EX Dragon Frontiers, all kinds of cool-looking wrappers. And then I was like, I don't need these. Let me get rid of them. And I was like, I can just look at the art online. Why do I need this? Why do I need actual garbage? And it's like, I should have kept them. should have kept them. I'm going to right my own wrongs. I'm going to keep this Arceus pack wrapper. But I am so excited for the sets. Like, of course, anytime new Pokemon comes out, I'm always like, yeah, it's new cards. But I'm just, I've been waiting for this set for a while. Just super excited for all these new Arceus cards. Now this look cool. Friends and Galar. Love the art on that one. That one is adorable. Everyone's looking so happy. And then a cool Garchomp Hollow. Curious what the pull rates for Brilliant Stars is as well. We already have two Hollows and a Pokemon V. So not bad so far. Ooh, what do we have? Ooh, full art. Oh, full art. Scythia's Ambition Secret. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at her, she is so cool. She is so cool. There's like a pinwheel in the background. It looks like there's something on the guard, but it's just the uh, center of that pinwheel and the foiling. That looks so neat though. Cynthia's ambition, rainbow. Barry, hello Barry. You know, you have the option of course in games to give your rival a name. And I don't know why, I just, I mean, I know why, but I'm not gonna share why, but I'll share why. Anyways, so I named, I named uh, my rival in Platinum. That was the first game I ever played. I named him Tanner. Because when I was in when I was in school, I was like, yo, that guy named Tanner, has, he's cute. So I named my rival Tanner. So like, I don't know why every time I see Barry, I'm like, his name's not Barry, his name's Tanner. <laughs> I don't know why they give you the option to name your rival. It's, it's kind of odd. Now that I think about it, it's a little weird, but that could just be because I'm weird. I don't know. Anyway, so Allie spills the tea. So I, I named in Platinum, this is the whole game, Tanner. And it, for years, for I forgot that his name was Barry. I just thought his name was Tanner. <laughs> There's another Badoof. He's not going to get sleeved, but we're going to set him off to the side. Pachirisu. Lipered. So. Well, that's a cute Pachirisu. I mean, we just saw it in Reverse Hollow. But when I see Reverse Hollows for the first time, I get distracted by the shiny. And then looking at the regular card, I'm like, oh, that art's really cute. But Reverse Hollow, I'm just like, oh, it's Reverse Hollow goes in the pile. I just pay attention to the shine rather than the art. I know, for shame, for shame. But Also seen some imagery from PTCG Live. From what I heard, it's only available in Canada at the moment, but it looked really clean. So excited to be trying out that when it is fully launched. So hopefully that'll be coming soon. 
I believe we were supposed to get it at the end of last year, but then it got delayed a bit. Um, excited to try that out because I did enjoy PTCGO. It's just I couldn't get past how bad it looked. I know that sounds bad, but I just, it was so visually unappealing. I just couldn't. And we have Professor Rowan here. That's cool. Charizard V. Hello there, Charizard. Charizard's not my particularly high, not particularly high in my favorite Pokemon list. I wouldn't even consider Charizard for that question at all, to be honest. But you, you can't complain about Plingazard. Right? Just not, I, I'm looking for Arceus. We're looking for Arceus. And in this house, we say Arceus. Get out of here with your Arceus. I don't want to hear it. I mean, if you want to say it that way, that's fine. But in this house, we say Arceus. And yes, I say Arc Phone. Oh, look at that. I want this. I love Morty. Dusk Noir with Morty here. Oh. So it is like the Cosmic Eclipse where it goes in the reverse hollow slot. That is neat. Oh, I need it. Torterra Hollow. Oh. Yeah, I I liked Brilliant Diamond. That's what I played. I didn't play Shining Pearl, but I played Brilliant Diamond. I liked it. I, I got what I wanted out of it, which was just the graphics remaster of Platinum without post game because I just uh, I'm just so bad at the battle frontier it would have been cool if it was there but it wasn't there there's like some kind of battle tower right at the end I haven't beaten Cynthia yet I was cruising through the game I mean I took forever just because I you know wanted to go click on every rock see if there's any hidden items and just talk to everybody and click on everyone's trash cans and all that kind of business <laughs> and I just I, I, I didn't lose a single battle until I got the Cynthia and I was like hmm I lost the Cynthia, and then Legends Arceus showed up. And I was like, all right, we're switching gears. I just caught a Piplup. Over the weekend, I caught a Piplup. I caught two Piplups. It just feels like an accomplishment, because you can't catch starters in regular games. So catching the starters in Legends Arceus is like, yes. Reverse Hollow Torterra. That's cool. Flygon. Hello there, Flygon. Barry. Your name is not Barry. That is cool. You know, I said I would... Did I say I would sleeve up those? Anyways. He's chilling in the Bidoof pile. That's that's the... Allie's gonna take this pile. Get Bidoof taxed. Usually we have Wooper tax. Now we're getting Bidoof tax. He's just so cute. And then Barry in the background. Do, do, do. Lapras. We have Wormadam Rare. Hello there, Ultra Ball. Don't tell Sinvic, though. We have Tropius. Throw bananas. We love Tropius in this house. Some select few do not. We even have Tropius on the shelf, which is covered up on my 20th anniversary special limited edition GameStop exclusive Arceus. I remember I was a weirdo. I camped outside GameStop for like two hours. And then when I, the dude opened up, he's like, what are you here for? I'm like, the Pokemon? And he's like, oh, I don't think we even have it. So then I had to go back another day. <laughs> I just remember, like, the first few that were Toys R Us exclusives were super hard to come by. So I was like, I ain't playing games with my Arceus Anniversary plushie. And then, uh, I didn't have it. I feel like about halfway through that 20th anniversary set of releases, they stopped caring. It was super easy to find the ones at Toys R Us. The GameStop ones were easy to come by. I have the whole set of plushies. I have the reprint Mew that was a Black Friday release. I don't have the single Mew. I have everything else in single. And then I have all of the, I still sealed the Pokeballs with the figures inside. And I also have the exclusive anniversary Arceus t-shirt, which you guys have probably seen me wear on the channel a few times opening up Pokemon. I was debating on wearing it for this one, but the problem is, is it's, it's too big. It's too big. Since those years ago, five years at this point, I, I've lost about 30 pounds overall from when I got that. Overall, I've lost 40. At some point I had lost 60, but then I went up a bit, so... Uh, it's 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 too big. I still wear it, but it's just, I don't know. I like feeling fancy when, like, fancy new stuff comes out, like Formula One, which we'll be checking out next, so. I just feel like dressing up today and, like, doing a little, like, silver and gold, you know, Arceus color makeup inspired. So I was thinking about wearing that, but I was like, I have the plushie out. I was debated to bring, debating to bring the, the little figure as well, but like I said, it's still sealed, so it, any any Pokeball on the shelf would really do. But I have it somewhere. I also don't know where that is. Ooh, Pip, a print lop and NTV. You don't fit. You don't fit our Sinnoh theme here, Entei. 
pot helmet, what? Is literally just is literally just I could cook macaroni in that. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, we're having a severe lack of Arceus here. Excuse me. Excuse me, Pokemon. It's time for Arceus. I can't I can't complain. We found the secret, Cynthia. I want Arceus. <laughs> hey, Houndoom and what is your name? Oh, what is your name? Grimsley? You're a Unova Elite Four, right, Grimsley? I just feel like Grimsley doesn't sound right. We're Googling it in a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Grimsley. I have you in a full art from Sun and Moon era. I think you had a full art trainer. I'm going to Google it. Grimsley. Grimsley Pokemon. Yeah, Grimsley Pokemon. That is correct. Dark trainer, member of the Unova Elite Four. Still got it. Not really. We have Pokemon Day coming in a couple days, actually. I know some people are theorizing we're going to see some more remakes announced, perhaps the next generation announced. Ooh, that's cool. Single Strike Urshifu. That is. TG18 out of TG30. So this is a trainer. I don't know who that is. I also don't know much about current gen because all I did was catch a whooper and then I was like, I'll come back to it another day saved and then never picked it up again. Ooh, Ace Roll is pretty. So that's cool. Singer Strike Urshifu V is part of the the character rare set. I'm going to sleeve that up because it's fancy. It's textured. We found some cool stuff so far. Really excited about that. Now, to my knowledge, they did not put all of them in this set. So I'm assuming next few releases, the character secrets are going to get sprinkled in. They're also not so much secret rares as they are like a, a special insert set inside. Lucario, hollow. Tropius number two. So that's neat. They're not super hard. Not easy. Not super easy to come by, but they're not like insane. Not like insane either. All right. Hey, Bidoof number three. Almost at a place at a Bidoof's. Pot Helmet Reverse and Luminion V. I did not really realize Luminion is like about seven feet long. Till I caught one. There are so many Pokemon that I didn't realize the sizes until I'm catching them in Legends Arceus. And I'm just like, why are you so big? Why is Luminion so big? I just imagine it being like fish size. I just, you know. Why are you so big? Oh, Piplup. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what are you? <gasps> are you Arceus? Is what I wanted. This is going the alley snag pile. I mean, I, I'll have to pay for it, but. I don't have to pay for the Bidoofs. They're probably like, what, 10 cents? Arceus. Hey, have you dropped the price yet, Arceus? <laughs> yes! This is what I wanted. Yay! Arceus V-Star. Oh, look at him. He looks so powerful. Like I said, we got some ominous energy in here. We got some ominous energy and it brought us the V-Star. That's what I wanted. Yay! Why am I talking like this? I have no idea, but we're getting you in a top loader. Put some respect. Put some respect on Arceus. At one point in Pokemon Platinum, I was just running around like post game. And I would just have a team of five whoopers. There's five whoopers and the Arceus that you got, uh, the mystery gift one or whatever, the one that had judgment. So I would have my whoopers. And if you knocked on my whooper, you got judgmented. And then when the uh, opponent would switch out if they're to another Pokemon, I'd switch back in a whooper. And that would just be it. If you knocked on my whooper, you got judgmented. I might be obsessed. You know, I was like, let me just decorate Arceus. And I was like, I can't take whoop off the shelf. So whooper's still on the shelf. We need a set that's just whooper themed. At Pokemon, we should have a whooper theme set. Please. Can I have my own character secret rare, the Whooper? What are you? V Max? Agron V Max. That's cool. 
Man, I like this box so far. We got that secret Cynthia. We got RCS V Star. Can I switch out my box that I was gonna get with this one? This I like this box. <laughs> That's not how it works, but my dreams. I can retcon which box I picked. I'm not opening my box, so at least for the time being. I'll probably crack at some point. Dusclops. Al creamy. Rare. I really like the new energy. I really like the new energy style. Ooh, 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 ooh. That looks interesting. That's a character card coming up because it's in the reverse slot. There's no character person on it, though. It is Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max, so it goes with the Rapid Strike... Or, no, that's single strike. All right, so Gold Secret Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. That's TG30. Impressive. I am intrigued as to why there's no character on it. Unless I'm blind. Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. Gold Secret. I mean, that's neat, though. I like it how it's you can find it in the pack and it's just still a white code because it's in that reverse slot. You have Infernape, Hollow, and another V Star marker. I do like that. It's like the Prism Stars and those character secrets from Cosmic Eclipse. But I like it. You can have some of them even be V Maxes, like I said, little bonuses. Yeah, so more so like the the Prism Stars. More so like Prism Stars. We have Starly Reverse, Star Raptor. Okay, so this takes the place of an energy. I've been meaning to try and figure out what it takes. My friends and Galar is so cute too. So I'll count those up at the end. Not sure how many exactly we're gonna get per box, but we'll take a look at the end. Along with that TG set. We have Muck Reverse, Tornadas. Tornadas. Why did I say Tornadas? Al creamy. Oh, that's cute. Al creamy character. Breloom. Breloom's cute too. He's just like a little mushroom rat that wants to fight. Today I learned Brad Marchand is Breloom. Anyways. That Gibble is super cute too. Crawdont is Scavalier. I remember I encountered a Gibble somewhere in Legends Arceus, and I was trying to catch it, but it used something that gave it recoil and it died. Which is unfortunate. I'll have to go back and find it. I think that was somewhere around Mount Coronet. I think. I have been thoroughly enjoying Legends Arceus, though. I know some people are expecting a DLC announcement, like I said, next-gen, perhaps, announcement. Which would imply that we'd get a new release of uh, trading cards. Get out of the sword and shield to a, a new thing. I'm assuming Brilliant Star is here. All the Arceus, as we can see. Sinnoh, Starter, Hollows, and whatnot. Cynthia's back. Barry's back. This is like the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl starting into the TCG. I'm curious, though, if we're going to get any other sets around it. I don't know particularly what's coming up. As I'll see spoilers for... Japanese sets, and then by the time they get put into English sets, I don't know what is getting mixed into what. But I'll have to take a look into that a bit more. Especially if I'm going to be picking up PTCGL. Then I should know what to look out for in terms of gameplay. But Anyways, we are getting close to the end of the box. I'm sad. I've been having fun. Look at that double turbo energy. You're not DCE. What are you? Taxes Pokemon, this card's attached to uh, do 20 less damage. They nerfed DCE. I mean, DCE was kind of... Uh, oh, we got B-Barrel Hollow. That's cool. 
This whole time I thought that was DC. I don't know. Isn't that the same picture as DC though? Double turbo energy. I mean, I feel like that's fair. That's fair. That stinks, but it's fair. More fair than DC. Let me know your thoughts, Pokemon TCG players. Any comments down below? Is double turbo energy fair? It's not DC, but I feel like that is like, okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Sneasel and Electivire. Man, Friends of Galar is so cute. It's just draw three. So that's not. It's not. Like you sound like a you think you read it a card says draw three it's like oh that's nice but based on my experience with Pokemon that's not good but it's cute though I like it maybe it's good in current format I have no idea but I remember I was playing around Ultra Prism and any card if it wasn't Professor Sycamore it was it's like draw seven fine draw three bit of what are you what is Barry looking for. I like the Starlies up there too. That's cute. That's cute. What we got up here? Reverse Cynthia and Kingler V. Kingler, you don't fit our theme here. Last pack. We have a Whimsicott pack to wrap off this box. Let's see. Can we get another character card? No. We have Milsery and Haxorus. Team Yells Cheer, Marnie's Pride, and Grottle. I did see there's a new special collection coming, like the Morning Collection. It's Professor Juniper. So that should be popular. That'll be neat. All right. Let's tidy things on up here and get into a recap. This is probably one of our longest booster box openings of Pokemon on the channel, just because I'm having way too much fun. We also spent like two minutes looking at my decor, flexing my PSA cards. It's not, it's, we, had, we didn't have an alley flex this past weekend because we had 160 boxes in the queue. We didn't have any time for me to flex any cool cards, so I had to stick it in somewhere. Sorry. All right. All right. I think this is a nice box. I was very happy with this. If I opened this box for me, I'd be pleased. We got Secret Rainbow Cynthia, however you want to call it. Cynthia's Ambition Full Art Rainbow Rare. Number 178 out of 172. And the Arceus V Star, which, you know, if not any other kind of Arceus cards, I wanted this one. I still want to get every version of it. I need to figure out if that's Legends Arceus Japanese promo is coming to English or if I need to buy the Japanese one. But yeah, I, there is an auction that ended for one of these Japanese PSA 10 at like a hundred bucks recently. And I was like, that's kind of expensive. And then pre-orders for English are like 75 raw. And I'm just like, yeah, I probably should have bid on that. <laughs> eh, we'll see. I'm going to the card show this weekend. Who knows? Maybe, maybe y'all won't be able to stop me this weekend. Just be like, Arceus, please. Please. All right. So we did have one V Star, one Full Art Supporter, a total of five Pokemon V, Raichu, Charizard, Entei, Luminion, and Kingler. Also had one V Max with Agron. This isn't a Hoenn theme set. Why is Agron here? And we also had no duplicates on the Hollows. Brush of fresh air, fresh air from Fusion Strike. Uh, most recent Fusion Strike box we had. Three copies of one hollow and two of like two others. It was actually kind of wild. Moltres, Garchomp, Torterra, Lucario, Infernape, and B-Barrel. So six hollows, six assorted here. So 12, 13, 14. So a little bit light in that regard. But then we also have these two here. So single strike Urshifu V and that gold secret rapid strike Urshifu V Max. So that does seem like a typical box. Then we had Bidoof. We had a play set of Bidoofs. Sweet. And then three character cards, Houndoom, Dusk Noir, and Al Karimi. Now, I want this one here. I love Morty. Ignoring that dude named Tanner, I, I also had a crush on Morty. Might still, who knows. I would love to live, if I had to pick one place in the Pokemon world to live, I would live in Akrotique City. Now, I know I'd move there and, like, not actually hear the background music that you hear in-game and be disappointed and maybe reevaluate my life, but if I just had to pick one place in Pokemon World, I would move to Akrotique City. I would. Just, ah, beautiful scenery. I, I would love. I would love to have... Let's go. Let's go Pokemon Legends Celebi or something. Come on. Let's go. I want to go explore old Akrotique City. So I recap that here. I also said we'd take a look here. So in the whole booster box, we did find four of these. So we missed out on four energy cards, but four of the V-Star markers. And I think in terms of recap, I think that covered everything here. So cool to see 
Cynthia's Ambition. What does Cynthia's Ambition even do? Draw until you have five in your hand. If your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw cards until you have eight. That seems not bad. And also it's Cynthia, so it's going to get Waifu Tax to the next dimension. So nice to have that Rainbow Secrets. Um, nice to see that not DCE. Like I said, DCE is DCE OP. So I, I, I feel like that's a bit more fair. It's not DCE, which stinks, but hey. Like I said, players of the TCG, let me know your thoughts on Double Turbo Energy in the comments down below. But I am very pleased with this box. I'm very happy. Like I said, I'm going to snag this. Um, the other hollows and such should probably be listed on TCG Player at some points. There's a lot of videos to record for tonight, so I have no idea when. But at some point, should be listed on a TCG Player. And of course, Booster Box is available, Elite Trainer Boxes, Blister Packs. It has Glaceon and Leafeon. Those will be available in store on Friday. Pre-orders up on the site already. We have a couple boxes for personal breaks. If you guys want to see me open up more brilliant stars for you. Four boxes available on the website. We only got three cases total. We're trying to get more. But at the moment, uh, just saving in store. Because there's been a lot of people locally asking for it. But still wanted to put some up on the site if anyone's interested. That does finish off this box here of Brilliant Stars. So I had a blast. I hope you all did as well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. Like I said, TCG players, let me know. Is, is Cynthia's ambition good? It sounds like it would be. Double colorless energies replacement seems a bit more fair. So let me know your thoughts on that. And of course, this set in general. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Did have three of the character cards. So I was happy with that. TG set, we also had the two Urshifu cards. So that was that was pretty neat. I overall thought this was a really nice box. I hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry, I already told you to like. I told you all to leave comments. I didn't tell you guys to hit that subscribe button yet. So if you're not yet part of the family, I'd love to have you join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then also before I get on out of here and into two boxes of Formula One flagship, that is all that we had come in. So Boss Man wanted, wanted me to open both of them. So we're checking that out. I thought it was going to be Formula One Chrome, but it's not. It's just regular Formula One. So I'll be checking that up next, and then we do have some personal breaks, white shorts, Magic Gathering, Kamigawa, and Star Wars Signature Series. So a lot more videos coming to the channel this evening, so make sure to check those out later. But before I get into those other videos, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 13 Black Label fans, and then Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sotari, Mark Mordini, Mike Clotis, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Barco Verrer, Dusty Archuleta, J.H. Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shinef Sen, and William Hastings. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. Man, I wish I could just open up, like, all of this. I remember Ultra Prism, we were able to rip, like, two cases for the shop for singles. That's when we last saw Full Art Cynthia. Or at least that's the last time I saw Full Art Cynthia. So I'm like... <sighs> Maybe one day we'll get good numbers on Pokemon again. Who knows? I mean, it's been going up. A few sets there. We only got one case, so... We'll see, we'll see. But I'm happy with the pulls. I want this for my collection. Still some more cards for me to hunt, I know. But for now, this is a good start for my continuing Pokemon collection. And that does it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!